Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be pumpkin carving. Whoa. In light of Halloween, obviously the pumpkin carving and our outfit. I actually bought this for you last year. Yeah. But we didn't actually ever do our outfits. So now I'm just cutting out and you're a pumpkin. Yeah, but I've also got Olive a pumpkin outfit as well. So me and Olive will both be pumpkins for Halloween. And I'm just cutting out. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense. I didn't think you'd want to be a pumpkin. Me out. Yeah, you pick like mouldy pumpkins, bruv. Give it a quick scrub. The pumpkin. Where do pumpkins grow? Trees, hedges, in the ground. Because you never actually see pumpkins in, in get grown they, ever, do you? They, they grow, oh, they grow in the ground. That's such a shit pumpkin. No, it's not. I can't believe you went out of your way and thought, yeah, I'm bringing that one home. That's a minger. I've already done that once in my life. I can do it again. Really? Sure, you have that. Fine, I will have that one. You can have this one. Pooey pumpkins. <sighs> also, I saw a trick on TikTok, right? Mm -hmm. This one's actually got like more of a concave bum. So I don't really know about this one, but you you carve you cut you you carve the bottom uh, like out instead of the top, so that the stalk's always on. Apparently, a pumpkin looks better with the stalk. Yeah, I mean, cat and do that, but usually people cut it out. Mine's anyway, mine ain't really yeah, got yours one. Yeah, is shit. You actually got such a shit. One. Yeah, but they're like rotting because they're wet. Uh, are we choosing a design to follow? Or yeah, anything? I think we should. Let's give each other a design, a pumpkin design. Oh, that's quite cool. If I can pull that off. You ain't pulling that off to save your life. No chance, mate. Which one out of those do you think is coolest? I think that one's the scariest. That one's the scariest. Yeah, but that one's actually my favourite. But I can't give it that because it's too easy. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna try and do this one with like grills in its uh, teeth. Oh, you could do something like that with one of our little pumpkins. Do it like a uh, pumpkin brain. Oh yeah, that's quite cool. <gasps> oh my god, I tried one of these before. Yeah. Right. So essentially. It's a bat. It's a bat. And then it's hollow, mm -hmm. but then the bat is like actually the pumpkin. Yeah. I drew it all out so well before, and then I cut the wrong bit out. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I would, I would do that. Oh my god, that's so sick. That's what I'm going for. Yeah. If you manage to pull that off, I will give you. If it, if it is anything more than a five out of ten replication of that, I'll give you two hundred and fifty pounds. Oh, I thought you was going to say miniature cow. No. Oh. Right. Let's cook. Wait, before you cook, thank you to the sponsor of today's video. Yes, Faith. Thank you for today's video sponsor. That is HelloFresh. If you want to make meals that can be as easy as under 20 minutes, then you need to visit HelloFresh. If you are worried about your diet and your dietary needs, then don't you worry, because HelloFresh caters to everyone. If you're vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, don't you worry. HelloFresh even have their own app, which makes meal selection so easy. Just download the app, select your meal preferences, and off you go. This meal here is a home favourite for me. Cumberland sausages and mash, you cannot go wrong. And don't you worry if you're thinking, oh, I've not got the red onions, I've not got the potatoes, I've not got the sausages. That is the whole entire point of HelloFresh. They deliver everything. It is all in there. If you're healthy, like me, then there's a HelloFresh calorie smart range, which is under 650 calories per meal. <sighs> Being a busy mum, I never ever have time to get myself to the shops. I mean, the closest one to me is 35 minutes away. So having it sent to my door is the best option for me. If you are interested in saving yourself time on visiting to the shops, saving time on cooking, or just saving time in general, make sure you check out HelloFresh. I'm gonna add a QR code on screen, which you can scan on screen right now or you can click the link in the description back to you in the studio faith oh it's magic you know cutting my pumpkin like so listen our actually buns in my family it didn't actually pass through me it kind of skipped over me a little bit the only thing that passes through you is takeaway Wee. i'm in she's bus a bus a bus are open so are you not drawing yours out first then i'm getting the top off first and then i'll draw yeah oh look at that there she is. Oh, she's, this is the issue with the tall ones. Look how thick she is. I ain't getting through that. Catch me in the whipper. Whipper, with a stiff arm. <laughs> what? Stiff with what? Stiff arm. Stiff arm? Look, you got those stiffy. Oh, I'm emptying the guts. Let's have a look at your drawing. Right, do you know which picture you're cutting out though, yeah? Not yet, I'm going right now. I'll, you I'll should colour in which picture I'm you're going to. Yeah, yeah right that's up. what I was going to stripe line it. Oh, I've gutted her. Proper. Well and good. It's not how he talks to me, by the way. I know some of you are probably thinking, is that how he dirty talks? 
Actually, You're getting Ethan, gutted well and properly. <laughs> Ethan, <laughs> Ethan can't do it. No, I'm, I'm, at all. I can't do it. Go on, give us some. Do you like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this bit's the hardest bit because this ghost has curvature here. Like, he's actually got back. Genuinely, he's got bunda and it shows from the side. So he's actually fucking bunda. Show me your bunda. <laughs> yeah, bunda up. Right, I'm gonna go for this one because it's straight. Attack mode. See, you would think we're at different levels here, but I don't think we are. I've done that so many times. Let's dry her up. It's really difficult, this Big bit. Gutty girl can't wind up on it. <laughs> Slap a pumpkin. Show me what it do, pumpkin. Can you pull this bit out for me, please? Mine ain't got a stalk. <laughs> Bro, I could have got blade in my eye and everything then. Right. Time to cook. That, this side has to be the face, realistically, because otherwise, look at that. Imagine that as a face. What do you reckon? You gonna give it a go? Hey, can you try? Help me. Thank you. Oh, good job. Oh. Oh, so scary. Do you want me to gut your pumpkin? I'm twisting it at the minute, apparently. You can gut my pumpkin, babe. Good job, darling. Give high five. Yeah. That's one scary looking guy, man. Yeah. It's good. The eyes are a bit wonky, though. What are you trying to say? Like meant, father, like meant... son. Yeah, but that adds to the. He, he looks like he's going like. like yeah. He's all demented, yeah. Can I say demented? Probably not. Oh my god, I'm done. <laughs> Le Bosch. Show us. Let's have a look at Daddy's pumpkin. No. There you go. Wow. Whoa, Olive, look at that. Wow. Oh, go his head. Uh, take his head off. Someone's asked, how did you come up with the name Olive? It's such a beautiful name. That was me, wasn't it? Faith's got an obsession with uh, very old granny names. <laughs> Not granny names. Yeah, there was like Dorothy, Dorothea, Dotty. I so wanted to call Olive Dorothea. Like, um, I so wanted to. She had this, yeah, she had this real I like, thing I for like... like old English names, that's what I like. Because everyone's like, Olive, where did that come from? Like, that's such an odd name. But it's, it's actually an old English name. Like, it's people's nan's man's name. What's your ics about each other? About each other. You go first. Uh, you asking me where your phone is every five fucking minutes. That's an it. Yeah, like, really? yeah, no, it, may, it makes me I know it annoys you, but... With poo vision. Really? Yeah, do you know I what, just see you in poo. Do you know what mine is for you? What? You see the top cupboards? Yeah. How you have to get on your tiptoes oh, yeah, yeah. to get stuff out of the cupboards? It actually makes me feel ill. <laughs> Does it really? Just for the dramatic. But and you, your ASOS. Yeah. Your ASOS oh. parcels are in it. Oh, okay, cool. That's like a massive it. That one upset him. He's come for another one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you see yourself having another child? Yeah, of course. Yeah, at some point. How many? Well, three, three don't we? Three, but then if we're feeding Rogue, we might actually... No, three max. Birth story. Birth story. Birth story, that could be quite long. It's quite traumatic, really. Yeah. Well, it's not traumatic. Birth story, she was a C-section. Planned one. Planned one, because she was breached my whole entire pregnancy. Which, for people that don't know what it means, it Upside is... Upside down. <laughs> her head was always in her ribcage. She never flipped around to get ready to be birthed. Yeah, that's why I now have a wider ribcage. Yeah, stubborn child. Then you book in for, a, it was a Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, after the charity match last year. You go in, sit down, and then they put Faith in a gown, they put me in a gown. They take you through to the theatre room, which is really quite scary. <laughs> yeah, uh, they don't look great. And then once you're in the theatre room, they then put sat you, sat back. Faith on the edge of the bed, like facing me, and then they shove like this <laughs> needle that's like, not I'm joking, like this long down into their spine. And then that's what made me cry a bit. Because yeah. she was best shaking. Yeah, that's pretty much it really. She was out within 10 minutes of being put under, but they cut through seven layers, don't they? Don't they? Well, all they through your guts, abdomen, yeah. everywhere. So it's literally right into all the gory bits. And then they sew you back up and we was in and out, bang on the hour. Mm. Favourite moment with Olive? Favourite so moment much. with her? The, my, my most recent one is when we got back from Manchester. Oh yeah, that was cute. She but got so overwhelmed. They was, uh, so she stayed with Faith's parents. We was away overnight, come back next day, probably about six o'clock. They was all sat down having their dinner and she was in her high chair. We come around the corner and she got like so overwhelmed. She was like, yeah. And mummy and daddy about which is probably cute. Yeah, something like that. I like it when she actually just cuddles the dog. Genuinely, yeah. I think it's the cutest thing ever. She, just, you go cuddle Hades, and she'll bend down and just give the dog a cuddle, and it's just so cute. Favorite memory together. Folkestone was nice. 
Folks here, folks here. I enjoyed that. Oh, it was a cute little trip. Uh, well, because I didn't never asked her to be my girlfriend properly in a proper fashion. He said, am I your man's now? That's yeah. how he asked me to be his um, I made up for it and we did like a romantic trip to the coast of England and spent the day in the Airbnb and did stuff. Yeah, it was right. That sounds nuts. By, like, the Eng- that sounds nuts. I just mean like, <laughs> we had some champagne, we went out on the beach. Yeah, we didn't have sea, sex by the sea. Got in the sea. Yeah, it was cool. Um, who fell in love first? See, this is a tricky one because I know the exact moment that I knew I loved you, didn't I? Yeah. Like the exact moment, but I, I don't know when you knew that you loved me. Was it love at first sight? Yeah. No, it wasn't. Look at, that was, he said that for his course, tea. Can't love this nose overnight, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but yours is when I was rapping in a petrol station. Yeah, he was actually spitting bars and it was <laughs> I was waiting for the car wash to- You just overlooked the drink. Oh, I get it. Yeah, spit. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. We was in a BP garage. Yeah. I was waiting for the car wash to not be busy. Yeah, this is my one, by the so way. So I was just rapping. Yeah, I know what song it was car. as well. What's, what song was it? No, I know what no one gimmicks. it is. What was it? <laughs> no gimmicks. Yeah, but he looks so good. Like, do you know when it's like, it was in the GTR as well, man, I missed that car. So it was like, in the GTR, you look really like nice. had a big hoodie, like pulled half over your head. They yeah. just look good. Sun was shining, skin was skinning. Don't look good now, now. I was just going to say, now. I mean, we've come a long way. You are cat in the hat and I'm pumpkin right now. I'd, yeah. say, I'd say we've definitely both been cooler. What's both of your love languages? Oh, mine's uh, cooking. Is that a good love language? See, the thing is, he don't let me have my love language because it, if you open that fridge, he's got a load of fucking <laughs> preps and I make banana bread and everything. I'm like, oh, babe, like, I, like, I, like, I like cooking for you. Like, if you wasn't on so many diets and restrictions, whatever, I'd be making you stuff all the time. Thank you. All the time. I haven't even got an apron. What a penny. Yeah, I've got a penny. What's your love language then, babe? What is my love language? I would say it used to be touch, but... It used to be, and then you just... Now I'm just sort of cold, emotionless thing. I don't really know what my love language is. It, it did, is... it did used to be touch. Yeah, it then is... Then I had a baby and I'm not... No, <laughs> it's not that. I'd say I'm good at, yeah, buying things, gifting. I'm good at gifting. You've got some good gifts. Yeah. You've got phenomenal gifts. Yeah, for like my birthdays and stuff. Prime example, was in Poland the other day, went to the smallest candy maker in the world, watched them do a whole show and then bought you some sweets. Yeah, I'd say you're a sweetie giver. <laughs> Whose farts smell worse? Mine. Ethan's, my, my country God. Mile, my arse is violent. Mine don't smell really, does it? Oh, uh, you have done a corker though before, <laughs> where like, so hers make zero noise, was in bed one night and I went, Oh my God, you fired, didn't you? And then she, uh, like, she can't lie. And, I, and you tried to say no, but it was blatant. She went, no, oh, I don't know, like ages ago, and it's under the sheets, and I mean, that's the problem. It's just been <laughs> baking in there. Does social media ever affect your relationship? Uh, at the start, you used to get very annoyed at it. I think it doesn't affect our relationship because obviously we know the truth and what's going on. Like, there's a lot of fake opinions um, and a lot of people chatting what they think. Because I see comments sometimes like, yeah, but Ethan does this, and oh, but yeah, but she does that. And I'm like, where have you even got that from? Because none of us even yeah, do a lot of people that. just like, assume. Like, they just give false narratives on everything. So things like that don't really bother us. I think for me personally, it's mainly a confidence thing. Like when people obviously tear you down a little bit, it affects yeah. your confidence. And then I think your confidence overall is that, oh, if they all find me really horrible and ugly, why do you find me pretty and things like that? Yeah. Faith's feet are 100 emoji. Post more feet pics, Faith. Cool. Can I buy some pictures of your souls, please, babe? Yeah, but I pay the a price. price. Right, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> one grand. And that's just for like one big toe pick. I was going to say, <laughs> per toe. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got any nicknames for each other? And the beast is coming. Yeah. Um, I say babe, don't I? I call you babe, babe all the time. All the time. Yeah. You, you don't have a pet name for me, though. No, I don't. It. It. You call me woman. <laughs> I do. I do call you woman. But not, <laughs> not in a bad way. <laughs> You've been two in. Yeah. Ah! How comes? Because we've got big pumpkins. Bro's actually going to hurt himself here as well. There's no way we can make it dark, is there? Oh yeah, that'll do, isn't it? What are we doing to judge? How are we judging this? I think yours is glowing up better than mine. It's yeah. quite It's quite hard to tell what mine is. Mm, you need like a super I candle should, I don't think I put the eyes on it. No, I forgot the whole <laughs> fucking face. <laughs> That's why you can't see. <laughs> no, I see. Oh yeah, that one's a lot cooler. No, where's my kit? It needs eyes. No, cool. no. That's Pumpkin. Better. Right, the results from the poll are in. Who do you think won? Me. Yeah. <laughs> Told you can't be a hood classic, man. Mine got 44%. Yeah. And yours is on 56. Yeah, and that's going to keep growing, by the way. 
But I just feel like mine's at the disadvantage. Yours is properly well gutted. I was holding Olive. Well done. Good job, babe. Yeah. Where should oh, we keep them? Inside? Darling. Sure, yeah. Like and subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.